here at Southeast College in the Felix Morales building, celebrating the artwork of our professor, Brian Gardner. But reception gives the students and the public an opportunity to meet the artist, right, and ask any questions, and it also gives the artist an opportunity to talk more about the work that's on display and answer any questions. So it's a wonderful opportunity for everyone here at Eastside as well as the public to interact and exchange thoughts about the artwork that's on display. For this particular show, I was creating art that was based off of doodles, doodles you would do when people are talking to you and maybe you're not listening, maybe when you're on the phone, maybe if you're at church. I learned to draw at church, not listening to the priest, but just doodling. Maybe when you're, you know, in a lecture, in a boring class and you're you know, writing your notes and your notes slowly turn into something else. That's really what this is about. I recently got a weenie dog, so that inspired this right here. And really from that piece, I just built out trying to match up blacks and whites and see what ended up. Over here we have a piece inspired by all the weird boba drinks students bring to class that I don't drink because they're way too sugary, but they look very pretty and very impressive. Really just trying to focus on following the contour of the wall and the shape of the windows. If you want to stay motivated with your art, the best thing to do is find a community of people who are creating art and to give each other feedback, create a sense of camaraderie, show people what you're working on, but also listen to other people, what they're working on, and that type of feedback really drives creativity outside of class time, it's a, a little more relaxed um, opportunity to have conversations about what they're wanting to get out of their arts classes. And so these, it's, an, it's really exciting to offer these opportunities to our students and faculty where it is a more relaxed setting outside the classroom um, where dialogue can happen and mentorships could hopefully form.